Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Galactic Odyssey Biosphera Autobot Clones. Man, that was a mouthful. <laughs> this arrived via Amazon.com. It is an Amazon exclusive, and these are actually repaints of existing figures, but fortunately, we're getting them together. It's the Autobot Clones. Cloud Raker and Fastlane. Now these were released before in the Titans Return series, but you got one clone in one pack and the other clone was in a very expensive exclusive. So it is so great to finally get both of these figures together and for actually a pretty decent price. I believe they're $24.99 right now on Amazon.com. Now really there's nothing to look at on the packaging. It's that brown exclusive packaging. You've got a planet map right here. Of course, you've got the clones in robot mode. So now without further ado, let's get this dastardly duo opened and out of the package and in front of this camera. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Autobot clones all opened up and out of their box, you'll see they do come with a, I guess this is a planet description map. I'm not sure exactly, but it's thick cardboard. You got Biosphera, an image of the planet, and here on the back, in multiple languages, is a description of the planet. So, there it is in English, if you want to pause it and read it. So, you've got that. You also have a sheet of instructions, and just like all the new modern instructions we've been getting lately, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow, but you really don't need instructions for those two. Now, taking a closer look at the clones, these guys look really, really good. Of course, the whole idea of the clones is you have two identical robots that transform into different vehicles. Of course, if you look at these guys, they're only identical if you're blind, you can see the fin on the back of Cloud Raker's head and the spoiler in wheels on the back of Fast Lanes. But hey, you use your imagination. Now, these two are reissues of the clones from Titans Return. And I have Titans Return Cloud Raker. And the only real difference I see between the older version and the newer version is the size of this decal right here on the chest. This is the older version. If I can get it in the light, you can kind of see a jet right there on the chest where this one, the newer one, that jet is a lot bigger. And that's really the only difference I can see in these figures. Now, taking a closer look at the details on the figure, these guys look really good. As I said, they're identical. Each one's gonna have the same paint application. So we're just gonna take a look at Cloud Raker here. I love the head sculpt. The paint detail on this is great. Love the blue visor. It kind of has a nice sheen to it. So it looks really, really good along with that painted face. White striping here along the chest. Some uh, white here along the sticker decals. A black and silver Autobot logo there on the torso. 
and you got some paint applications down here near the feet on the ankles and that's about it for the details he looks really really good and as i said again they both have the same details except fast lane here has a vehicle like a little car where cloud raker has the jet now articulation for the guys both exactly the same the head is on a swivel so you can actually do a complete 360. It's not a ball joint. You can't look up and down. The arms can do a complete 360. There is an elbow bend and an elbow rotation. No waist rotation. Legs can go up and down, in and out. There is a knee bend and the ankles can go back and forth. There is no tilt, but that's mainly due to transformation. And speaking of transformation, transformation for Cloud Raker, very very simple the first thing we're going to do is turn the head a complete 180 so the fin is now facing toward the chest you're going to flip the fists in like so and then bring the arms up you fold up into the chest now as far as the legs let me see here you'll take the back section here flip this up and extend this down while you separate the legs like so bringing the nose cone up and locking into place right there now bring these back fold the feet oh, to get under here and release these wings and unfold these get your fingernail in so you got one wing and the second now you're gonna fold the feet into the leg and let's see we got to line up these slots there's little tabs right here that line up to these slots there on the legs get that tabbed in place and there you have cloud raker in jet mode so yeah that's that's using your imagination right there i like how the tail fin is down so low it doesn't make a difference as far as the jet's concerned but i mean it's very very similar to the generation one toy so for that i big thumbs up nice details here on the nose cone you got an autobot logo some yellow striping a little bit of blue and that's pretty much it for jet mode there is landing gear you can get it under here flip that down so you can at least set him down but it's kind of pointless but yeah that is cloud raker in jet mode now let's go ahead and take a look at fast lane fast lane exact same articulation so we'll just go into transformation for him you're going to bring this spoiler section up rotate the head around and then bring it all the way up like so then you're going to fold the fists in just like you did with cloud raker that was really tight then you're going to bring the arms up just like you did before bring the feet down and peg the legs together and that's it that is all there is to cloud raker and his vehicle is some sort of dragster really really do not like these back wheels with those clips those clips have just pissed me off with these modern transformers for about a year now this wheel looks great this one not so much especially it's got the really nice painted rim i mean that looks great except for that clip on the inside uh new details for fast lane you've got the spoiler right here on top which is also very very generation one that's a great homage that's almost identical to how it looks on the generation one toy now as far as rolling's concerned man that guy sails he's like a hot wheels car he's very free rolling so now we have fast lane and cloud raker compared to their generation one counterparts and as you can see there is some great homages with these new earthrise figures compared to their generation one grandparents so that looks really good very very similar and then of course you've got fast lane here compared to his generation one self and like i said i love the spoiler throwback that looks great one thing I really wish the new Earthrise, or excuse me, Galactic Odyssey figures had was weapons. The Generation 1 figures had weapons that could be used in vehicle mode. These are Fast Lane's weapons attached to his dragster mode. So now without those, looks a little bit more 
like his G1 self. And the weapons for Cloud Raker actually formed the landing gear for the vehicle. So that is really, really cool. As far as the Generation 1 toys, I wish the new figures had weaponry. I don't know why we can't get weaponry with these figures anymore. The clones in vehicle mode have a gimmick that's not mentioned at all in the instructions. What you do is right here on the center, which is the robot's chest, is there is a little hatch. Flip this up. It's exactly the same on both figures. Get that flipped up. And what that is, is it provides a seat for a Titan Master to attach to. So a Titan Master can actually ride these vehicles. So let's see, we'll go ahead and get him attached here. There's a little slot right there that matches up to the peg on the bottom of the Titan Master. Get that pegged in and lined up. And there you go. So, uh, that looks goofy as hell. It's like they're toddlers in Walmart Power Wheels or something. But, hey, it's an option. So there you go, guys. One final look at the Autobot clones in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here's the Transformers Galactic Odyssey Biosphera Autobot clones with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, the Generation 1 Autobot clones, and their evil counterparts, the Decepticon clones, Pounce and Wingspan. The Amazon exclusive Transformers Galactic Odyssey Biosphera Autobot clones is a great two-pack of figures for us old school Generation 1 fans. And in my opinion, this is what exclusives should be. Quit making mainline Transformers the exclusive figures. Do oddball characters like this that only really appeal to a select few. I love the Generation 1 throwbacks that these two have. My only complaint is I really wish they came with weaponry. But as you can see, I found a couple pistols in my collection. I believe those are non-F. That worked pretty good until the Toy Hacks Armory comes up with something a little better. So there you go, guys. The Transformers Amazon exclusive Biosphera Autobot clones. So, does the Amazon exclusive Transformers Galactic Odyssey Biosphera clones of Cloud Raker and Fastlane belong in your collection? Well, I think these two are for the old school Generation 1 fans. I had the original clones as a kid and absolutely loved those figures. I played with them all the time, and it's so cool to get modern updates of those figures. For you newer fans, you may not really appreciate the wonky vehicle modes that these two have, but they're great throwbacks to those original Generation 1 toys, and I couldn't be happier. I just wish they came with guns. Now, you can still find these guys on Amazon.com. They're still only $24.99 and available right now. I just looked. I'm going to put a link to them in the description of this video. And as I said, these are the figures that I think should be exclusives. They don't appeal to everybody. Quit making mainline figures like Ratchet here, an exclusive that sells out and then you can't buy one. But guys like these that not everybody really wants is still plentiful. So come on, Hasbro. Give us collectors a damn break. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help the channel, I have a YouTube membership and Patreon page. And I want to thank my newest YouTube member, TransAaron38, and my newest Patreon, Melvor. That's an awesome name. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your support. Guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!